Hey, everybody, how you doing? And welcome. Today, we are a really uh, educational show, I'll say. I am lucky enough to have a young lady that is a broker right here in the villages that deals with specializes in your kind of like your social security to Medicare type of thing. But she is actually an insurance broker. And she, the meaning is if she's a broker, she can talk about any of the types of insurance, whether she can help you out with TRICARE, she can help you out with what we call the Villages Healthcare or an Advantage Plan or the regular old red, white, and blue government Medicare. Now, the thing is, is I've learned there's a lot of things you have to learn even after you're on Social Security and Medicare, and she can also help you out with that. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a big favor. Just take a second and hit the like button, please. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and that'll help this channel out a lot. Also, if you have any groups or you'd like to repost this, please go ahead and repost it because a lot of people that don't watch the channel, and I really believe that this could uh, help some people out. So just hit the uh, share button down below and it'll let you share it, share it out. Really appreciate it. And I'm sure if it does help somebody, they will appreciate it also. And I'm going to stop blabbing now. Let's just go ahead and get started with the show. Hey, everybody. How you doing? As you all know, I'm Rusty Nelson. Today, we got a really cool guest. I know a lot of you have been sitting there waiting for her. So um, we're going to kind of get right to it, and I'm going to let her introduce herself and uh, tell you a little bit about who she is, where she's from, and why she's here. <laughs> so hello, I'm Crystal Andrus. Um, I am an insurance broker. I own Sphere Coverage Solutions. I'm originally from Florida. South Florida is where I was born and moved to Central Florida when I was very little, so I'm a true native, I guess you could say. Um, and yeah, today I'm here to talk about Medicare and everything about it. Now, how, how long have you been in the business dealing with this? We'll talk about what you do in a second, but how long have you been doing it's this? It's been about eight years. Um, eight years. yeah. So I, I, I'll tell you really quick how I met Crystal. I was going up to, um, the, the village's office and we'll talk about that in a second. And through a process, it just so happenstance, she was there and she was working up in the office. Now, I have to say this, because you've heard me say it before, I have nothing to do with the villages. And I don't represent the villages in any way. Now, she's going to give her disclaimer, yeah. right? And she's going to tell you exactly what she does as a broker, right? Right. Yep. So as a broker, I offer all types of insurances um, when it comes to health and life, but I every carrier pretty much. Um, I work out of the, the Villages Insurance Resource Center, which is part of the Villages Health. Right. Which um, is where? Where is that office? The one that I work out of is in Pinellas. So yeah. I am actually there on Wednesdays. Me and one of my agents, her name is Sylvia, we rotate Wednesdays out there. So um, you will find me out there on a Wednesday more than likely. So just to make this perfectly clear, you don't actually work for the villages. Right. So I'm not employed by the villages. I'm not really affiliated with the villages at all. I'm just a broker that comes in and that they allow to get space in their office to help their patients. So right. they try to find insurance agents that can offer their patients the best insurance that they need, whether it's something that can put them there in the villages or what, you know, it's whatever's in your best interest. Right. So, um, okay, I'm going to flick this up here. She, she's going to laugh. <laughs> there oh. she is. <laughs> that's that's her website. That's that's her phone number as a broker. But just for everybody in, 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 in a general sense, uh, I made an appointment to go to that building to talk to a bunch of people. And through that process, we kind of came to the conclusion that some of the stuff that she was talking about would work for me. Um, because I'm a little different. I'm kind of a snowbird going back and forth. And I was just getting ready to do this. And I already had healthcare. So, but a bunch of other stuff. And it's kind of something I want to say. And 
I always, t I told her, go ahead and jump in and tell me if, if I'm a knucklehead, I'm saying something <laughs> wrong because I'm not the professional at this, is that, and hopefully you'll nod your head, is every single person that is approaching this social security and Medicare has a different situation. Pretty it, much. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and that's why it's great to, no matter what you do, I think, to talk to somebody. It is. It is. A lot of people, when they join Medicare or start drawing Social Security, they tend to do what friends have done or family members have done or neighbors have done, and they're not really educated on the whole process. So my, my first and foremost objective is to make sure that you're educated enough to where when you are ready to make a decision, you're making an informed one. Right. And, yeah. and so to make sure I'm right, um, you can represent anybody. Right? Pretty so, much. There's pretty, only a couple that I can't. And if you want that and I can't help you, then I know people who can. Right. In, so. in, 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 yeah. So so that's it. So as a broker, she can represent. And that goes for Advantage programs, the Villages, which has a great local program. Um, Medicare supplements. Uh, Medicare supplements. Drug plans. Dental, drug plans. So mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Now, the way this is going to work, this video, because... We already established that so many people have different situations. Yes. And that's why I, I say talk to somebody or call her because we're not going to touch on every single situation. But what we're going to do is almost have a lot of the same conversation that I had with her. And I kept poking her and going, well, what about this? And what about that? And I really think the thing that'll help you is not to get too specific about any one situation. Right but to now, talk yeah. right, talk about general general ruralities yeah. um, and the gotchas. Yeah. And then if you have further questions, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you call her and I'm sure Absolutely. Yeah, that, that she'd be willing to help you out. And this also goes for people that um, correct me if I'm wrong, that that have already signed up, they're already in a plan, mm -hmm. right? And maybe they're approaching that certain time of year, we'll talk about that later, where they may think, you know, I wanna switch plans or maybe I need to switch plans or maybe my wife or husband is now gonna join me. That or kind or of even just for validation to make sure that you're in the right plan. Right. You know, sometimes you make a choice and you kind of wonder, did I do the right thing? Yeah, so, yeah. And, and cost, cost change, programs, the prices of different costs change. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to attempt <laughs> <laughs> to, I, we're, we're laughing because we both talked about how complicated this is. So it, it's going to be ad hoc a little bit, jumping around. We may cut in and out. Um, but we're going to try to touch on a lot of things that may get you in trouble and generate, I, I think, generate a problem down the road that you may want to think about, but not specifically get involved in any one situation. Right. So let's uh let's jump back to go back to social security okay okay because this is how you get started in medicare correct yes you know and, so, and it's a big question right. when you if you're already drawing social security you don't have to enroll into medicare and that's a, something that a lot of people don't either they're unaware of um if you're already drawing social security it's an automatic enrollment so they'll just mail you your medicare card about three months before your birthday um, Medicare always starts the first day of your birth month. So even if your birthday is June 15th, it would start June 1st, for example. June 1st, unless it's the first of the year. Unless it's the first of the month. First of the month, I'm yeah. sorry. So, so if you're first of June. Then it actually starts the month before. So right. your Medicare mm -hmm. would start the month before if your birthday falls on the first yeah. of any month. So it just so happens I have this slide, right? Um, mm -hmm. Which, oh, <laughs> that's her website. So this is actually the name of your company, mm -hmm. right? So okay. you, there you go. <laughs> so that's the name of her company. You can, and what is that website? It's um, sphere-solutions.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're up to, I forgot, Social Security. Yes, right? Social Security. So. So like I said, if you're already drawing, it's an automatic enrollment. Um, Social Security and Medicare are two completely separate entities, but they do work together. So you have to sign up for your Medicare through the Social Security website or on the phone with them or in person at right. the office. Now, the, the thing is, and once again, correct me, because I'm going to say stuff and I'm waiting for her to <laughs> knock me over the head <laughs> or something. You're good. Um, 
Because because I, I just did this and and I did a lot of research on it. I mean, I felt like I came to her office sort of prepared. You did. Yeah. You did. And so at the beginning, I couldn't quite get the fact that Social Security and Medicare were the same thing. Right. So you need to go to this website and down in this corner right here my is my Social Security. And it is really easy to sign up for this to go on there. And you can even help somebody, right? I help. I was going to say, I help people all the time. So I don't charge for my services. If you need help, if you get on there and you kind of stumble, fumble around, give me a call. I'm more than happy to help you. Um, I can also help get you enrolled if you're not really tech savvy. I help a lot of people with that too. Um, it can be very easy to set up an account, but it can also be a little cumbersome sometimes yeah. just because they have to verify your identity. So um, if you're not prepared to take pictures of your photo ID and that kind of thing, it can be a little... Yeah, a little hairy, so <laughs> it, it is, and, and you know, we may divide this into two videos because you know we're going to touch a lot on in the beginning about getting signed up, and and some of you may have already done this, but you can sign up and create a My Social Security mm -hmm. web uh, page long before this, and I highly, yes. highly, highly suggest you do that because yes. you need to go back. You can go back and research what they have on record for your wages. Yes. And you don't want to do this at the last minute. Go back and make sure your wages have shown up on there and make sure that you're going to end up qualifying mm -hmm. for Medicare, which means you have to get- 40 credit hours. 40 credit hours um, to actually- To be eligible right. for and Medicare. Right, obviously there's exceptions to all this, yes. but- <laughs> There's a lot yeah, of exceptions yes. in the Medicare yes. world. You may hear me say, <laughs> you may hear me say that a lot, but- um, so I highly suggest you do this. If you're 60, go ahead and do it. If you're 62, go ahead and do it. Yeah, everybody should have a Social Security. And once you have Medicare, you should have a Medicare account online too. Right. Those are two very important accounts to have. So that was a, a big thing for me, getting signed up. And I'll tell you what I did that was wrong. <laughs> so my birthday is in June. So I waited for about a month beforehand. And I said, oh, I know all this. I got it all handled, no problem. The problem was is Social Security wasn't moving at the same speed I was. So I actually couldn't get everything activated until July 1st. I wish I had done it four months ahead of time, three months ahead of time, mm -hmm. and come in and talk to you, and we could add everything. And then the day it started, it would have just kicked in. Yeah, they, they open the enrollment window three months before your birthday. So it's very important if you know that you're going to be starting Medicare or Social Security to do it as soon as you can, because if not, you know. Right, but they, you can do the Social the Security part of it, <laughs> Social Security part of it way ahead of time. The Social right? Security you can create, well, you can start drawing Social Security at the age of 62. Right, but you can create the but account. But you can create your account at any time. I have a Social Security account. Right, and, yeah. and, and she's not 70. So, not yet. No. <laughs> She'll get there. Though. I feel like I'm getting there quickly, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not there yet. All right. So what we've done so far, we've established this is the first big hiccup, I think, is, is waiting mm -hmm. till the waiting till the last second. Um, the second one I would say is, you know, when I saw all my wages on there and I went, oh God, I don't remember. I gotta go back and look at this. Mm -hmm. But I already qualified. The thing is, is if they haven't included some of those wages on there, yes. that's not gonna count. You're not gonna get that counted for the amount of social security. That you're going to draw. Right? right, that you're going to draw. So right. that may have an effect. And uh, I'm telling you, go do this ahead of time and make sure you check check on all this. Yeah, because if you don't agree with any of it, you have the opportunity to, to talk to them about it before it's crunch time. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I will say that I went over to Leesburg after I signed up. And I actually went over to Leesburg, walked in without an appointment, Social Security. Mm -hmm. And... I, I got, they were really helpful. They took me in, took about 15 minute wait. I'm not saying not to do that, but it just so <laughs> happened when I did that and they were a lot of help. So there, there is one uh, kind of close by an office. So, mm -hmm. all right, so we get our social security, my social security account set up mm -hmm. ahead of time because now we know we're supposed to do this ahead of time, right? Now we go in and we sign up for Medicare, and you can do this when? You can do this three months before the month of your birth. So if you're a June baby, then you wanna do it in March. Right. You know, So three months before is when that window opens, and you apply straight from the Social Security website. So it's ssa.gov is 
the website, by the way, be very careful when you're going online because if you do ssa.com or medicare.com, it's a much different uh, website and it's not government. Right. So it's .gov. Make sure you have .gov. Yeah, so it's and, ssa.gov. And, and <laughs> let, let, let me say this now because I'm going to say this a few times. Um, we don't work together either. No. Right. So she's yeah. not paying me to do this. I'm not getting paid at all to do this. This is purely, I'm kind of just like buying a house here. I'm kind of regurgitating. It just so happens. I feel lucky that I got somebody that I'm pretty sure knows what the heck she's talking about. Or <laughs> she got all my questions, which is pretty good without opening a book. <laughs> so she's just getting embarrassed now, um, but she's good. She's good. Um, so we go on and you, you can also uh, help. I can help. Help. Mm -hmm. She'll get on the phone. She got on the phone and helped me with, with a bunch of stuff. So you're going to get on to the Medicare website. Social Security website. Social Security website. Uh -huh. And you're going to go, and now you're going to, when you go do this, you're going to decide whether you want to start drawing, when you want to draw med, uh, Social Security. Yes. Right? Yeah, so if you are not currently drawing Social Security, the first question you want to ask yourself before enrolling to apply for Medicare is, do you want to start drawing Social Security? That is a big question for people when they turn Medicare age. Right. Um, there's a difference in opinion as to when people should draw it and when you should hold off. You know, there's formulas that the Social Security office will actually do with you that prove that if you draw it earlier, you end up making more money because it's all based on... When you, you die. Know, yeah. <laughs> when, so... Yeah. You know, a lot of people will hold off. They don't necessarily need the income, but they may hold off until they're 70 to draw yeah. it. And then, you know, if let's say you're looking at $2,000 versus $2,600. Well, for that $600 difference, you're waiting five years when you could have been drawing $2,000 for five whole years. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing how long we're going to be around. It just makes a difference. So that's a conversation to have. You want to make sure if you want to draw or not before you do your application, because on the Medicare application that you do get through SSA.gov, it asks you if you want to draw your benefits at the same time. Right. And I, I'm telling you right now, it's kind of a weird, like double negative the way they ask the question. So just be careful about how, what button you're pushing there. Yes. Um, it, it's just kind of weird. You'll know it when you hit it. It says, would you like to do this without this? And they don't call it social security; they call it cash retirement benefits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there, there's a there's a few things like 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 she said, you know, if, if you have questions, I'll be willing to help you out. And to, to address what you just talked about, this is kind of something the torture I went through. I decided for myself to take social security at 65, although my full retirement age was 66 and a half. So I had about 18 months. Well. Without going through the whole math for you, I decided to take it before my full retirement age. And this is me. You got to do your own research. It would would have taken me to make up the difference, to break even, till I was about 79 years old. Yeah, it's usually 12 to 15 years. Yeah. So in other words, what we're saying is if you're close and there's a little bit of difference, you need to figure out where your break even point is and decide... I, I mean, I, I could be, I'd rather take it and spend it or take it better yet. And I'll put it in the, in that the little difference, put it in the market. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's, that's the next kind of gotcha. You and pretty much only you can decide mm -hmm. when you should take it, but kind of take a look at those things and yeah, figure and, out. And sometimes too, you know, everybody knows there's a premium involved with Medicare. Sometimes people will take Social Security just for the simple fact that the Medicare premium is deducted from it. And they don't have to pay it. You know? Right. So, well, so. Let, let, let's talk about that. Um, during this process, and we're not quite getting into the Medicare thing yet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all that stuff. Right. <laughs> but there, you, you do have options of having certain things drawn out of your Social Security yes. check as it's issued to you. Is yes. that correct? Yeah. So... Um, your extra plans, like your Advantage plans or your supplemental plans, those premiums may or may not, well, your Advantage may or may not come out of that, I take it back. Your supplements can't, but typically your drug plan and your Medicare premium. So original Medicare, right. Part B, has a premium to it. That can come out, and so can a standalone drug plan. And, and that's what I did. I, I had whatever I could have pulled out of my Social Security check, pulled out of my Social Security mm -hmm. check. And um, 
out of sight, out of mind. People usually. Yeah, it, that. Is, I, I'm, yeah. I, I must be hitting <laughs> retirement, really, because <laughs> everything I can get onto automatic, I'm going to automatic. Easy you know? peasy. Yeah, and, and I know I'm going to start forgetting stuff eventually, but I always say if, if you find my wallet in the freezer, oh, no. you, you come get me, okay? Because I'm not doing well. <laughs> um, so now we're up to the point right now, we talked about a couple of gotchas. And we're up to the point where you've decided to take your social security. And just for clarification, you're not a financial advisor, is that no, correct? I'm so, not. So, no, but you can help out kind of thinking about certain things. I can. I am a retirement planner and I do dabble with that. I do work closely with financial advisors. So any questions that you have, if I can't personally answer them, I can get answers for you. All right. Just Want to make sure we get all these yeah. these little things yeah. out of the, out of the way, um, and, and whatever you do, don't listen to anything I say, because <laughs> I'm well, you know, I'm just me. All right, so I, I'm, I'm trying to catch each one of the gotchas that I went through, and and I'm going to go back again. The biggest gotcha was not getting started early enough. So we've signed up. We've decided what we're gonna have taken out of our social security. And I will tell you that social security, and I'm saying this is for everybody, but they were pretty much on the ball. I yeah, I, they're I, usually I, on the ball I, with I, it. I, I thought, yeah. yeah. So, but whatever that is, go wander around the social security website, you're gonna end up finding out. Uh, One thing I will say, yeah. not to interrupt you, is social security and Medicare will never call you on the phone. A lot of people get confused because there's, unfortunately, there's a lot of scams out there yeah. um, with retirees, especially pertaining to Social Security and Medicare. Yeah. Um, they will never call you. They snail mail everything. So if somebody calls you saying that they are calling on behalf of Medicare or behalf of Social Security, unless you have an appointment for them to make that phone call at that time on that day, yeah. it's probably not valid. Yeah, please, please, yeah, please watch, watch out for scams. And if you have any problem... I'd probably say, hang up or call say, <laughs> can I call? I'm going to call the Social Security office to yeah. find out exactly what that's all about. And if they have any argument about that, it's probably a scam. Also, things that are in, you know, you may get stuff in the mail that says send us information. Yes. Don't do it. That's a big one. When you're going through your mail, that's something I tell people too in seminars that I have and stuff is when you're going through your mail, you become a rock star when you turn 65 <laughs> and every open enrollment period after that. Um, you want to make sure that you're looking for the symbols, the government symbols. So there's there's one, you should see it on the website, the Social Security, um, which is the full eagle. You'll have CMS, which stands for Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services. And then you'll have, um, I'm drawing a blank right now, but there's three of them. Yeah. Uh, anyways, if it's not from the government, you won't see those symbols. And a lot of those postcards and stuff that you get mailed, they look very official. They yeah. say, you must fill this out or you void your Medicare eligibility. And you know, you're filling that out and basically you're just giving your permission for every person in the world to contact you. Yes. <laughs> so so, so let, let, let's talk about something really quick because you told me this and you said that you'll actually, if you have small groups or groups of people, mm -hmm. you'll actually, you have a whole, like if you have a, a um, a group. A I do presentations member. for people. She does presentations. Yeah. So if you yeah. have a group of people that that you would come talk to, you can schedule with her mm -hmm. and she'll actually come to your house. So yeah. with that said, besides the one Wednesday that you have, you actually, you know, to sign people up and do all that type of stuff, you'll actually come to their house. Yeah, that's the way typically you that's how I meet with people. Um, it's a lot of personalized conversations and you don't really want to do that in public. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah. Um, you know, come to your home, sit at the kitchen table type thing. I will meet you at a restaurant if you prefer that, but um, typically that's how I do it. I meet you in your home. So if you have a small group of friends or neighbors that want to be there, that's fine. And I also do big seminars too. So if you wanted to host something somewhere at a location, I can do that too with more people. Yeah, so. it, it, it is, there, there is, let me tell you folks, there's a lot to do with this. Um, <laughs> you know, are, are you, were you, were you retired military? Uh, mm -hmm. Were you married? Did you get divorced at a certain time? You, you know, all those things fit into this bailiwig. Are, are you a, uh, has your spouse passed away? Yeah. That, that, are you eligible for Medicare through your spouse? Because maybe you were a homemaker. Yeah. You, know, the, you never worked. So. There, there you go. All those yeah. things that are going to be tough, <laughs> tough finding out. 
All right, so we're, we're gonna try to get through this. We may get, <laughs> we may get back and stumble over some things. Um, so now signing up, so we're still, talk, we're still in the signing up and things to think about. Is there something that, that you think about that we're missing? Um, or? No, not really. The application's done on ssa.gov and it's, it's pretty, well for me, it's routine, so I'm used right, to right. it, but I, 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 I would rather you call me or anyone for that matter that knows what they're doing to help you if you stumble at all, because it's, it's a lot harder to undo an incorrect application than it is to get help doing right. it originally. <laughs> now, the, we're, we're talking about sign up and stuff like this. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this part one and then we're gonna get back in into the more Medicare. But something I wanna talk about that a lot of people don't understand uh, stand is signing up and this whole timing thing is penalties. And yes. that these penalties don't just happen like, okay, we're gonna fine you $25 today those penalties can stick with you. They will stick with you. They're lifelong penalties. So yeah. um, we are supposed to do two things when it comes to Medicare. One is to sign up for Medicare when we're supposed to. And the other right. one is to have drug plan coverage. So those are two things. You know, if you have employer coverage, there's a lot of ifs, ands, or buts, and I can talk to you about that. Um, but employer coverage, if you have that, then you can hold off on your Medicare and your drug plan. But once you become retired and you no longer have employer coverage, or maybe you want to change from your employer coverage to Medicare, you do have to sign up during a certain window. And if you don't, right. then they penalize you for every month that you should have had it to when you actually get it. So let's say, for example, um, and a lot of people don't realize how this works. Let's say, for example, you are retired. You're no longer working. I am. You're turning 65 <laughs> in two months. Okay. Right. You go and you say, I really don't. I'm healthy. I never go to the doctor. I'm going to go and ride the wave and, and not get Medicare till two years from now or next year. Okay. You wait till next year. What happens is Medicare, whenever you do do your enrollment, they're going to look back and say, you should have signed up in June of last year. You didn't sign up. So now you're going to have a penalty for 10% of the Medicare premium. So you got to figure hypothetically $170 at $17 a month. Yeah you know, that it could potentially be. So you just That's have to be careful. good happy hour money. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be careful. They do give you certain leeways and stuff like that. And we can, like I said, that's more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but there are penalties. Drug plan is the same way. You say, I don't take any medications. I don't want any drug coverage. And then all of a sudden, now you need drug coverage because you're on a heavy duty prescription that costs more money and it's a penalty. Yeah, and, and um She's told me some stories, we, we don't need to repeat them here, about people that missed timing or mm -hmm. misfiled or didn't file for the right type of care for, for them right. regarding for you know or, medical problems they've had, including, um, I don't want to get too much into drug plans right now, but the drug plan, I realize that you also have to sign up for that by a certain time, correct? You do, you do. So. Now, what are the windows? I, I mean, <laughs> so there's a lot of them. <laughs> I, I know, and I, 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 I was almost I didn't want to ask the question because I knew my mind fried a little bit. Let, let's start. I'll ask you. For me, signing up, turning 65, what type of windows are there? So you have three months before your birthday, the month of, and three months after right. to get a plan. Okay, that's that's pretty much what you're looking at. If you come off of employer coverage, you have a certain window. If you are changing, it, it's there's there's lots of different yeah, ones. Yeah. So, but but that's the Typically, main one. That yeah. that's the typical one. That was me, just Joe Blow getting off, turning sixty five, mm -hmm. um, and 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 that's what kind of worried me right away was because when I went to talk to the security office, the guy looked at me and literally said to me, "So, man, you should have signed up for this a few months ago." Yeah, right. well, because sometimes it can take them. Yes. You know, I had a gentleman just last year. He signed up two months before his birthday. And it took them like six, they must have been behind, but it took them like six months to get him his Medicare card. Yeah. So you just never know. You know, there's over 12,000 people a day in this country turning 65, not including people that are younger right. getting on Medicare. So, so. The, the next window, and, and we'll just talk about this basically, right now because we're, we're still kind of on the sign up thing. Remember, we're going to get, actually get into the Medicare stuff in, in part two, but is what's called a open enrollment, Yes. right? So this would be 
and correct me if I'm wrong, for somebody that already has I Medicare um, or needs to enroll in it outside of the average Joe thing that we just talked about. Is that right? Yeah. Or change, change. Kind of, yeah. It's for, it's for people who already have Medicare plans that want to get new plans, you know, change their plans. So between October 15th and December 7th every year is when you have an opportunity to do that for the changes to take place in January of the following year. There's also another enrollment period that's called annual, mm -hmm. it's open enrollment actually, that's annual enrollment. Open enrollment actually is um, from January 1st to March 31st. There's another window there. So really it's from October to and, <laughs> and March that's, 31st. That's it. We're, 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 we're not trying to avoid things, but you know, when we first got started on this, we're trying to figure out how we were going to present this. I mean, it could go on for days. We it's get a out. rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah, yes. And, <laughs> and, and it's so personalized. Yes. Is you just want to make sure that there's a combination between, I'm going to say you, which the nice part about her is she can represent everything. Yeah. So that, that's kind of cool. So if it doesn't work here, she's got, she's got yeah. her fingers in everything. So, um, <laughs> You just want to make sure that you're not missing the boat. So you you know when you're getting, I'm going to say four months out, even yeah. though you can't do it three months ahead of time. If you're four months out, you better be already into your social security part of it, so that when that three months out comes out, you can pull the trigger. Yeah. Um, and even looking at the plans, you want to start doing that ahead of time. Yeah, re research. You want that plans. smooth transition when when the time comes. You don't want to be pulling hair. Okay. Off, as far know? as signing up and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so you guys got your homework to do now. Get on there, get a social security thing at all, even if you're 59, go do it, right? Yep. So signing up, um, is there anything else that you can think of without getting to the A, B, C, D? Not that, really, that it's, it's, it's an application you go through. Um, there's a note section at the end of the application. I always put my intentions in there. So after you answer all your questions, at the end of the application where it says notes, don't just leave it blank. Put on there what your intentions are. I want to start my Medicare A and B blah, blah, blah month and draw my Social Security benefits at the same time. Just make sure you're reiterating what your application should have said. So if there are any discrepancies, they can catch that. This this is a, a, a great point because when, and, and even the Social when I went over to Leesburg, the guy, mm -hmm. as soon as he pulled up my application, the first thing he went, I could tell, the first thing he went down, he says, yes, your notes say. Yep. Right? So yeah. that's really a great point you yeah. brought up. I wrote in there in plain English, my birth year is this, my birth month is this. This is the month I want to start Social Security. This yeah. is the month I want yeah. to start Medicare. Because it's, it, it just reiterates everything. So yeah. that way, whoever's checking it, if they say, well, this isn't match with this, when they look at your notes, they're going to be like, okay. Yeah. So anyway, we covered it. Anything else? Because that was a good point. That, yeah. that was a good point. Not that I can think of. Yeah. All right. So we're going to call this one, I'll bet you, we're close to half an hour already. Are we? Um, probably. I don't know. But we, we, I, I had a lot, I've had a lot of fun talking to her. So that that's, that's your homework. Um, it'll probably be another week or so before the next one comes out. But then we're going to start talking about um, the 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 wide I, world of Medicare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what I call when I say Medicare, me, and I'll give you a heads up. When I say Medicare, I mean the government Medicare. Yes. Period. Your um, red, white, and blue card, and what you get with it. Right. And then there's Advantage, mm -hmm. right? Which is a different kind of Medicare, but I refuse to use the word Medicare because I get all mixed up, although it does kind of, kind of the same thing. And then there's TRICARE. Yes. Right, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna talk, we're gonna, we're gonna talk a little, we're gonna talk, a, it was my other camera, sorry. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. We're not gonna get into it too much because there's not much to get into with, with that. Um, but there's definitely some, things you can do even if you have TRICARE, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And we're gonna talk about different types of plans. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. Um, now, I'm gonna say this ahead of time, she's not gonna get into specific name, mm -hmm. name companies or plans, and there's a lot of legal reasons for this. Um, but I'll tell you what the big reason is, is between you and I, is it's just everybody's so different. 
e even okay. even my gap plan it came down to whether I was going to get my YMCA <laughs> free membership and stuff like that, really, yeah. and, and the price of things and how stable the company was and that type yeah. of thing. So anyway. Those I, are more personalized conversations. Yes. So that's a one-on-one. -on -one. So hopefully we're going to get you started, right? We're going to get you out there and get you onto the Social Security website. Call her. I'll put the uh, contact info below if you have any questions. I, I, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. She's busy, I can tell you that, but she always seems to find time. If you have a broker and you already have somebody and you have a question about your personal plan. You can still call me. Uh, well, there I you go. I don't step on toes. I, I really don't, um, but I, I am an advocate <laughs> that you can have in your back pocket. So yeah. feel free okay. to call. All right, there you go. That, that's yeah. I, I was I was trying to to stop the flood of, of <laughs> but anyway, like I said, she's a sweetheart. She's good. She's knowledgeable. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Make sure you do because then you'll get the notification. But I think the next part of this is going to come out in about a week, and we're going to cover all the other stuff that dives a little bit deeper into Medicare okay. and what you may want to think about with that. Anyway, as I always say, well, first of all, I'll say thank you so much for joining oh, us. It's you're kind very of fun. welcome. And I, I will either see you back here on YouTube or I'll see you in the villages and maybe she'll hear you on the phone or you'll make an appointment to come see you in her, in her office. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining us and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Got through that, right? Right? How do you think it went? What? How do you think it went? Good. Yeah. Or I would have backed it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know that it's still on. <laughs> I hate being on camera. <laughs>